Once upon a time in ancient Greek mythology, there was a powerful god named Zeus, the ruler of the gods and the heavens. Zeus was known for his many affairs and love interests, and one of his most famous lovers was a mortal woman named Semele. Semele was a beautiful and ambitious woman who captured the attention of Zeus. They began a passionate love affair, but their relationship was kept secret from the other gods and goddesses, as Zeus was already married to Hera, the queen of the gods. Hera, being the jealous and vengeful goddess that she was, discovered Zeus' infidelity and became consumed with anger. Determined to punish Semele and put an end to her relationship with Zeus, Hera devised a cunning plan. Hera disguised herself as an old woman and approached Semele, pretending to be a concerned friend. She planted seeds of doubt in Semele's mind, making her question Zeus' true identity and power. Hera convinced Semele to ask Zeus to reveal himself in his true form, believing that he would refuse and expose his infidelity. Oblivious to Hera's true intentions, Semele approached Zeus and made her request. Bound by his love for her, Zeus reluctantly agreed, knowing that revealing his true form to a mortal could have disastrous consequences. Zeus appeared before Semele in all his divine glory, surrounded by thunder and lightning. The sight was so overwhelming that Semele was instantly consumed by the sheer power of Zeus' presence. She was incinerated, unable to withstand the divine energy. Devastated by the loss of his beloved, Zeus managed to save their unborn child, who was still growing inside Semele's womb. Zeus carefully removed the unborn child and placed him in his own thigh, where he would be protected and nurtured until he was ready to be born. Dionysus, the god of wine and revelry, was born from Zeus' thigh. This unusual birth made Dionysus a unique and special god, setting him apart from his divine siblings. He was raised by nymphs and taught the secrets of winemaking and the art of celebration. Dionysus grew up to be a charismatic and joyful god, known for his love of wine, music, and ecstatic revelry. He traveled the world, spreading his teachings and introducing mortals to the pleasures of wine and the liberation of the spirit. Dionysus became a symbol of fertility, abundance, and the celebration of life. He was worshipped by many, and his followers, known as Bacchae, would engage in wild and ecstatic rituals in his honor. Dionysus' story also had a darker side. He was often associated with madness and chaos, as his revelries could sometimes spiral out of control. He was known to drive people to madness or inspire them to commit acts of violence in his name. Despite his wild nature, Dionysus was also a god of transformation and rebirth. He represented the cyclical nature of life, the constant cycle of death and renewal. His worship and rituals were seen as a way to connect with the primal forces of nature and tap into the divine energy within. Dionysus' story is a testament to the power of passion, transformation, and the celebration of life. His birth from Zeus thigh symbolizes the extraordinary and unexpected ways in which life can emerge, and his teachings remind us to embrace the joys and pleasures that life has to offer. Dionysus was associated with wine, grapevines, and fertility. He was often depicted with a crown of ivy leaves and carrying a thyrsus, a staff topped with a pinecone. The revelry life of Dionysus revolved around the celebration of wine, pleasure, and liberation from societal norms. His followers, known as Bacchae or Maenads, would engage in wild and ecstatic rituals. Dionysian festivals, called Dionysia, were held in ancient Greece to honor Dionysus. These festivals included theatrical performances, music, dancing, and drinking. The Dionysian mysteries were secret initiation rites that allowed participants to experience a spiritual connection with Dionysus. These rituals involved ecstatic dancing, music, and the consumption of wine. Dionysus was often depicted as a youthful and androgynous figure, symbolizing the blurring of gender boundaries and the freedom of self-expression. The followers of Dionysus believed that through revelry and ecstasy, they could achieve a state of divine madness and transcendence. Dionysus was also associated with theater and the arts. The ancient Greek playwrights, such as Euripides and Aristophanes, often incorporated Dionysian themes in their plays. The cult of Dionysus spread throughout the ancient world, including Rome, where his worship was integrated into the Roman pantheon. Dionysus was not only revered for his revelry, but also for his ability to bring fertility to the land and ensure a bountiful harvest. The Dionysian festivals were a time of communal celebration and unity, where social hierarchies were temporarily suspended. The worship of Dionysus was not limited to adults. 
Children were also involved in the festivities, symbolizing the cyclical nature of life and the passing of traditions from one generation to the next. Dionysus was often accompanied by a retinue of satyrs, mythical creatures with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a goat. They were known for their mischievous and lustful nature. The revelry life of Dionysus was not without its dangers. The ecstatic state induced by wine and revelry could lead to excess and loss of self-control. Dionysus was also associated with the concept of hubris, excessive pride or arrogance, which could lead to downfall and punishment. The worship of Dionysus declined with the rise of Christianity, as the new religion viewed his revelry and ecstatic rituals as pagan and sinful. However, Dionysus' influence can still be seen in modern celebrations of wine, music, and theater, as well as in the concept of letting loose and embracing one's desires. Dionysus continues to inspire artists, writers, and thinkers, who explore themes of liberation, ecstasy, and the blurring of boundaries in their works. The legacy of Dionysus reminds us of the importance of balance in our lives. While revelry and celebration are essential, they should be tempered with moderation and self-awareness. Dionysus. Revelry life was a vibrant and transformative experience, where wine, ecstasy, and liberation from societal norms played a central role. His influence can still be felt in our modern celebrations and artistic expressions. So, the next time you raise a glass of wine in celebration or find yourself swept away by the spirit of revelry, remember Dionysus, the god born from Zeus Thigh, and let his story inspire you to embrace life's pleasures with joy and enthusiasm. Cheers.